Am I late to the Dollar Tree pegboard DIYs? I may be, but it took me a minute because my Dollar Tree wasn't getting the boards back in. But guess what? They've got them back in. I finished my hacks and my DIYs using them. And boy, oh boy, do I have some fun ways in store for you for today on how you can use those pegboards other than in your craft room. These are hacks that I think you're absolutely gonna love. So I'm gonna quit my gabbing. Let's jump into it and let me show you how useful these pegboards are. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? You'll want to stick around to the end of the video to see if it's your creation that's being featured in today's video. I wanted to show you that as of this morning at 4.49, yep, I was up. Dollar Tree Online still has the pegboards and the accessories that are going to be available. Some may be out of stock. Yesterday, I called Dollar Tree itself, the 800 number, and they said that they are going to continue carrying the pegboards. I ordered four cases and had them shipped to the store for free. You just go to the store, you pick them up when they're ready, and this is typically how they come. You can also find a pegboard system on Amazon that comes with all of the accessories, everything you need. Walmart.com has a set that is very comparable to Dollar Tree's. Even your local hardware store, Lowe's and Home Depot, they have a pegboard system. If you're someone who shops at Ikea, well, they've got a pegboard system too and it comes in three different colors. Since DollarTree.com had them available, that's why I ordered mine. This is the 10 by 10 board. Dollar Tree also has a five by five, so in essence, it really is cutting this board in fourths. They've got one that is a six by three, which is a bit longer and wider than the 10 by 10. On the back side of each of the boards, you will find what I'm gonna call a clasped. That's what I'm gonna call it. These adhesive rinks are what fit in there. Each four pack of adhesive rinks comes with four adhesive tabs that go on the back side. Just by peeling off the protective paper, you can go ahead and apply it to the flat side of your rink. Then you do have the protective layer that comes off again, but I'm gonna keep it on this one because I don't need it just yet. The other side of the rink has this elevated area. That's what you're going to place in the clasp on the back side. You do wanna use all four rinks. You don't wanna try and cut corners and only use two because there is some weight that goes on these pegboards, so you do need all four rinks. When placing these rinks on the back of your pegboard, you do wanna make sure that these double holes here aim in to the pegboard, not toward the edges. The first organizational hack that I have for these was using them under my kitchen sink to just organize a bit, kind of add some space. And so I took four of the longer pegboards, attached them to the door itself with the adhesive, with some of the accessories, and you can see just how much room I now have under my cabinet. On, one, on the other door, I actually did the same thing for my brushes and gloves. I did use a mixture of the black and white because when you order these online, you get 12 of each. And so because the inside was white, I used, again, the pegboards there, used some of the hooks to use to hang up some of the wire baskets from Dollar Tree to put some of my sponges and scrub pads. Adding these pegboards, I feel like really did help organize under my sink. It freed up a lot of space, which I couldn't be happier. I know where everything is and it's accessible. Somebody's gonna ask what this is. This is my dishwasher tabs and you can find this container at Walmart. But look at how clean and yeah, freed up a ton of space. And it didn't cost a lot of money to do it. I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. Moving on into the garage, I've been having fun organizing my garage. This is the wall above my toolbox. I feel like there could be some fine tuning and I can add to the organization of my tools. On my wall here, there's this cable cord that went nowhere. It was actually cut at the top. Not sure why it was there or why it was never taken down. I went ahead and cleared the wall, filled in all the holes, filled in where that wire was. I don't know why it left a dent in my drywall, but it did. 
So I took some spackling, filled it in, sanded it down, and repainted my wall. And ah, look at that, a blank slate, good as new, ready for the pegboard system that I am going to add to this wall. Why did I leave those pictures up? I'm not sure, but I'm super into inspirational quotes. And I had three of them. Ask me why I only took down one and not all three. I don't know, I'm gonna call it COVID brain fog. That's what I'm blaming it on. I went ahead and used the black pegboards. I had a lot of the more narrow pegboards, so I went ahead and utilized those in my garage and look at how amazing this looks above my toolbox. These clear containers are amazing. They just came out with the school supplies and I figured they were perfect for all the accessories for my drills, the drill bits and whatnot. This pegboard system I couldn't be happier with because I really wanted all of the items that I utilize most often on display so they were easily accessible. Moving on into Allie's room. Allie is still doing distance learning. This is her desk area in her room. It could look better. It needed some definite fine tuning, some organization because it is just too cluttered. And this is something that has bothered me for the last two years of her doing distance learning. So when the pegboard system came out, I was super excited. But in her room, this is where I ran out of the pegboards. So I put up what I had, kind of cleared off her desk a bit because I wasn't sure when the pegboards were gonna come back in. Once they came back in, I was able to go ahead and finish off her area, her desk area, her school area, add more of these pegboards to it and really get it dialed in, organized, make it a fun learning place for her and that is just what it is. Because this is her school area, those craft bottles from Dollar Tree are amazing for the pens, the pencils, her paper clips, the clasp, the extra erasers that she has, her index cards. I feel like this is such a fun way to organize her desk and Allie really enjoys it. Another fun idea using the pegboards is to actually glue two of them back to back. I glued two of them back to back, then stacked a total of, I guess, two together. So you're using four boards to make this nail area for her. Allie loves playing with the press on nails from Dollar Tree. So it's something that we pick up whenever she sees a set that she likes. Adding these pegboards to I guess a Lazy Susan allows her the capability of turning it. It's a double side organizational, I guess, stand, which is super fun. She loves this. She knows she's not allowed to play with these while she's on Zoom, but nonetheless, it is a fun area for her. And look at how organized it is. It just, I want one and I don't even do my nails. For those of you that are new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. Welcome to my channel. Make sure to click that subscribe button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, well, YouTube should notify you every time I upload a new video, depending on the option that you choose. Yes, in the drop down menu of the bell. And if you're interested in following me on social media, these are the platforms you can find me on. You can find the links, guess where? Yes in the description box below. Heading on into Kayla's room. Kayla is very artistic. She needs more organization for all of her craft supplies, for her drawing. And so this wall was empty. We knew that this would be the perfect wall to add a pegboard system. So all of the stuff that she uses daily is easily accessible. She wanted the black uh, pegboards. I wanted the white, but in the end, I was glad she went with the black because it didn't stand out as much as in her room. She kind of used a hodgepodge of boards that we had left over because her room was kind of a last minute idea. We've got the five by fives, we've got the longer ones, but nonetheless, it worked. She's got a pretty big system here that really holds everything that she uses. And she too couldn't be more happy with the way this came out and how accessible and neat everything looks. Those Dollar Tree cylinder pen holders work amazing on the hooks. 
I did use some pegboards, several pegboards in my craft room. So I thought I'd show you what I used them for because I had four cases of pegboards. I had a lot and I knew I would utilize them all. This is my craft table that used to be out in my living room. On the side of it, I went ahead and added the longer pegboards. Again, these are items that I use most frequently that I wanted to have easily accessible to me. So using a combination of the craft jars and the shelves, it works perfect. Underneath my desk, I wanted to have the vinyls that I use most often with my Cricut. So using some of the metal hooks, this is perfect because these are the colors that I use almost all the time. So again, it's about accessibility. On this side, I added the smart vinyl. I don't have as much smart vinyl as I do regular vinyl. On my Cricut cart, I guess you'll call it. This is a cart that you can get at Michael's. There is this table here that you can actually lift up. I don't use it, so I thought I'd add some of the pegboards to it and add some of the tools and my cutting mats. What's great about the pegboard system is that you can move things around. It's not permanent. You can repurpose it if what I'm using it for now doesn't suit my needs anymore. That is what I love about this system. Who is today's KB Creations Crafter of the Day? Well, it's going out to Wendy, who's bringing to us her recreation of my DIY Dollar Tree Vertical Pumpkin Plaque. Wendy, I am loving your spin and your twist on it. Thank you so much for sharing your recreation with us today. I'm gonna say my favorite places to use these was definitely under the sink. I am loving my garage and how useful it is right above my toolbox, but I'm not gonna lie, I love how organized it makes Allison's desk and her work area for school. I think that it is setting her up for success and I absolutely love these pegboards and I hope that Jock keeps them in stock because I think that they are definitely a win-win item that will continue to sell. I hope you all enjoyed my pegboard ideas, hacks. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say, each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below, well, they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget. Stay happy, stay safe, stay healthy, but most of all, stay positive, please. And bye for now, everybody.